ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೇ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬಿಭಜ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ಬವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವಿ ತುಳಸಿದೇವ್ ಬೈ ಪಿ ಆವೈ ಕೇಸ್ವಸ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಖ್ಯ ಜಗೋದ್ಬರು ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮ ವಿಷ್ಣುದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಿಂಚಿನು ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತಿಹಂ ಪುನುತಪಾಲ್ಯ ಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ಮದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಶಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಿ ಕದಾಂಕಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ವಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾವದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ಬಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 
कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे विपुलीकृत वैभव गौर भुवम भुवनेशु विकीर्ति तो गौरदय धन दयनीय गणार्पित गौर पदम पनुमा सदाप भूपाद पदम विपुलीकृत वैभव गौर भुवम भुवनेशु विकीर्ति तो गौरदय दयनीय गणार्पित गौर पदम पनुमा सदाप भूपाद पदम पुनमा सदाप भूपाद पदम पुनमा सदाप भूपाद पदम गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर पाटोल इफ सामबडी गोईंग टू थिंक मी एज अ ग्रेट एनिमी इफ सामबडी गोईंग टू थिंक मी एज अ ग्रेट एनिमी इन इज लाइफ but still there should not be any negative idea inside my heart about him gauriya goshtipati sisila bhakti siddhanto saraswati goswami thakur prabhupada told if somebody going to think me as a great enemy still there should not be any negative idea inside my heart about him i should not think about any in auspicious event to come in their life this is my prayer to supreme lord because actually i have come to do something good for the whole world gauriya goshtipati bhakti siddhant saraswati goswami thakur prabhu was speaking this way because he wanted to bring some some change in the whole and uh, history in the total history of this you know human society actually you can remember the case when prajapati daksha speaking all rabis against shankar bhagwan vaishnavanam jatha sambhu we know in bhagavatam we know one shlok nimno ganam yatha ganga देवनाच्युत यथा वैष्णवा यथा शंभु पुराण तो ईद भागवत स निम्न गान यथा गंगा देवानुच्युत यथा वैष्णवा यथा शंभु पुराण तो ईद भागवत सो वैष्णवा यथा शंभु दैट शंकर भगवान सिटिंग एंड इन सभा एंड दक्ष प्रजापति इज एफिशियंट इन वाच इन वाट Why he is getting this name, Daksha Daksha Prajapati? Daksha means efficiency, efficiency to lead material life. He is very expert to calculate profit and loss account and blood and flesh relation. This he knowing. That's why his name is Daksha Efficient Prajapati. Yeah. So Prabhu is speaking. He is Daksha in this matters. In these matters. So Daksha Prajapati, without knowing the actual. heart of shankar bhagwan he is speaking all right ravis against him speaking insulting him but still shankar bhagwan not going to give any answer here actually when sati devi ultimately going to leave body by setting fire yogagni he wanted to burn up his bo- her body before that she was bound to speak that shankar bhagwan paramhansa he is not going to protest against you it is quite natural guru vishnu neva going to protest against somebody again only siddhanta viruddha they can speak to this is also the duty of acharyas guru vishnu those who are you know those have their main responsibility to, to give protection full protection to siddhanta vani so devi devi parvati speaking nascharja metad yad asatsu sarvada mahad bininda k 
कुनोपप कुनोपात्म बादिशु सेशम महापुरुष पाद पंक्षुभी निरस्तते यह सु तदेव सोवनम actually it is not strange that guru vishnuab not going to protest against anybody protest mean not when somebody going to criticize him is not going to give answer keep silence it is quite natural they are not going for any violence but there the dust particle from their lotus feet they are not going to bear they are not going to tolerate this kind of you know insult that is a man so the dust particle from the lotus feet of rupago sai path is not not material dust particle dust particle from the lotus feet of shankar bhagavan is not <laughs> ordinary so nascharja meta jad jad asassu sarvada mahad bininda kunopatma kunopatma badishu शेषम महापुरुष पाद पंक्ष भी निरस्तते यह सु तदेव सोवनम शिल सिर साई पास स्पीकिंग दोज वर दोज वर विथ मेटेरियल दर्शन दोज वर मेटेरियल दोज वर मेटेरियल हार्ट दे नेचुरली गोइंग टू क्रिटिसाइज गुरु वैष्णव दिस दैट दे कैन दो दे हैव देयर कंसेप्शन दे हैव देयर कंसेप्शन अबाउट ब्लड एंड फ्लेस ऑल द टाइम and profit and loss material idea but sidha sila sidha sai pad in his commentary speaking in the shloka yadapi mahapurushaha sha nindam sahante tadapi tat pad renavah tad asaham manah stesham tejo nirasanti ato atho athasu mahan actually sila sidha sai pa speaking jadapi mahapurushah dozwa mahapurush parmangsho guru vishnu they are not going to give answer against not going to answer to any uh, to their and uh, to anybody if somebody going to insult them but their dust particle from their lotus feet they are not going to bear it they cannot tolerate they are going to destroy that demon fully that is the man so also some devotee uh, wanted to ask this question that haridas thakur was beaten and beaten in 22 different markets and haridas thakur was praying to the supreme lord please excuse them then why bhagwan not going to hear his prayer why they got punishment uh, i can get i can give Uh, some example also in, in the life of sila pauba the same answer i now give answer that though that hari that haridas thakur not going to find any fault with them not going to speak against anything against them though haridas thakur only praying for their good but the dust particle from their lotus feet not going to bear they are going to destroy those demons one or two other examples i can give in front of you about prabhupad one day sila prabhupad uh, prabhupad uh, actually speaking to uh, you know he actually he is actually one pleader for one ko he came to take darshan in dam he is he is smoking directly actually advocate he is an advocate of court he is smoking prabhupad speaking don't smoke don't smoke here please Papa three times speaking, requesting him not to smoke there, but he is not going to obey him. He is going to his full of false ego and going to ignore him. Immediately after some time, he developed cholera, and so severe cholera, he was bound to leave body. And another example, I am going to speak. One day, maybe in Urisha. or in assam maybe ha huh? in adjacent pond of sarbog there some naughty uh, you know boys they are coming to catch fish in the pond hmm the, the boy is aged enough he can understand what to do what not to do but when prabhupad requesting them not to do it here there is not 
don't do it here but anyway is not going to hear him one day two day three day is going to do his own you know is going to violate popat but when he is going to violate popat one day actually uh, he was uh, one snake bite him heavily and at the spot he was dead this way actually guru vishnu never want to want to curse anybody no going to show any violence mood nothing but still it's an automatic factor answer i already speak and in the starting that's why i was bound to start with this point that prabhupada speaking if somebody going to think me as a great enemy still i should not have any negative idea about his life so i should not think anything unauspicious in his life to happen it is my request to supreme lord so this is the baba of pure guru vishnu so now actually another question um, i received from one devotee that sanatan goswami uh, actually great acharya you know sanatan goswami so when sanatan goswami wanted to test the love of jagadananda pandit he was purposely putting this red cloth on his head to test to test actually so actually jagadananda was thinking that it must be the cloth of mahaprabhu because he is the main parshad of mahaprabhu uh, so out of full ecstasy he was asking whose cloth is that then sanatan goswami is speaking actually it is the cloth of some some sanyasi other than mahaprabhu sankaranando anna maybe like that don he was very angry because he couldn't expect that uh, sanatan can do it so he wanted to beat him this is one kind of love affair nothing else and i want to establish this this siddhanta that there one special word spoken by jagadananda pandit vaishnaver rakta vastu parite na juaye means a vaishnav a vaishnav should not wear red cloth because naturally they are vaishnav in parmamsa jagadananda jagadananda wanted to speak this siddhanta a vaishnav a vaishnav pure vaishnav is always parmamsa so why should he Uh, you know wear actually red cloth to show uh, that he is under varna samdharma it is not and in this commentary pavupad speaking that that guru vishnu those who are pure guru vishnu they are not actually bound they are not actually bound to wear red clothes they can wear they cannot wear but when Sarasvat Gauri Sampradaya Pahupad and our Guru Varga are going to wear red clothes. It is only for preaching purpose. Also, they wanted to express humble attitude inside their heart. That see, we are under uh, Chatur Varna and Ashram, so humble attitude. So we have not that kind of quality to wear. This is one kind of humble attitude. So actually, those who are Sahajya. they naturally without any reason they like to find out some fault with gorya mission or gorya mat that is the reason for their they are criticizing our goswami is never wear red cloth why they are going to some special arrangement done by pavupad but according to the scriptural analysis without siddhanta pavupad never done anything so any red cloth by bhamachari sanyasis at tirundi sanyas everything approved by shastra so scarted also i can go on giving answer to all questions related to this um, their criticism they usually they usually uh going to criticize about the ac- about the activities and the procedure procedure preaching procedure of gorima because they are ignorant they don't understand that's why so most of the parsads of 
Mahaprabhu and Mahaprabhu himself was with red cloth, saffron cloth. So they are foolish. Uh, Prabhu Dhananda Saraswati Path, Madhavandha Puri Path, Ishwar Puri Path, you know, Brahma, everybody, who not? They all were red cloths. So it is for special purpose actually, one kind of humble attitude they wanted to show. And now I go, I like to go back to the main, you know, our point where I started that day, I couldn't complete that Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Srila Sachidananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur, before leaving his material, before leaving his body, before leaving his body, he was bound to give some instruction to Srila Prabhupada so that the future of this, you know, devotional field can be more clear and perfect. So, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, what kind of instruction given to Prabhupada? First of all, Bhimala Prasad, you must, you know, establish, you know, Vishuddha Daiva Varnasram. Daiva Varnasram system, you must, uh, you know, install properly so that people cannot take undue advantage of Varnasram Dharma, anything they can do. Second, actually, you must start Vishya Vaishnava Sabha, I mean Dham Pracharani Sabha also you can start. Vishya Vaishnava Sabha, what is the reason behind it? And, the, and another point, you must start Dham Parikrama so that bonded soul can get great benefit out of that. Because usually bonded soul, they cannot start bhajan very easily. By the mercy of Guru Vaishnava, they can, but still, this Dham Parikrama is more, you know, beneficial for them. Dham Parikrama, Dham is actually Nityananda Prabhu. Dham is, you know, more merciful than Prabhu himself. So I can touch all those points. First of all, Bhakti Vinod Thakur wanted to establish this Doiva Varnasram Dharma properly because Bhakti Vinod Thakur could realize that in the name of Doiva Varnasram, some group can take undue advantage and do all rubbish. That's why 150 years back, Bhakti Vinod Thakur was very conscious about the situation uh, going to come in the devotional fields. And he was bound to put request in front of all great, great, you know, leaders, spiritual leaders. So who going to, who going to obey? That is the main question. Actually, as per, as per Srimad Bhagavad Gita, we find it is the declaration of Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking in front of Uddha, in front of Arjun. Ja chatur varnam maya srishtam gunakarma vibhagasaha tasyo kartaram upi imam vidhi akartaram abhayam. Actually, chatur varnam maya srishtam Krishna speaking, I was bound to segregate, segregate this chatur varna and ashram. According, according to their activities, you know, according to, according to their guna karma, according to quality and activities, guna karma vibhagasa. So otherwise, there can be mismanagement in the society. That's why I was bound to do. I already told uh, in Krita Juga, Krita Juga means in Satya Juga, there is no such division. Actually, there was no such division and because it was also not necessary that time. So, Adau Kriti, Adau Krita Juge, Varno, Nenam, Hangsa Iti, Sritaha, Krita Kitvaha, Prajayata, Tasmat, Krita Jugam, Viduhu. Why people speak that Satya Jug, starting a Satya Jug is a Krita Jug? Krita means they become successful. Krita Kitta. They become, they become successful because there is no segregation of anything, you know, Guna Karma. Because they are all hangsa. They are with their birth, with, a, with their birth, they are going to come out successful. Anyway, but after the, at the end of Teta Yuga, I mean in Teta Yuga it was felt uh, heavily there should be segregation of Guna Karma. Uh, according to Guna Karma, there should be some because uh, contamination going to take place. So contamination going to take place. 
so they 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 already started thinking about this but in gita this gita already they are eternally present so maybe we can see gita teachings coming in front of us but those who are basadeva and all they already knowing everything they are knowing so what is the system actually as per gita praman we see je those who are brahman what is their symptom actually brahmo swabhav what do you mean by brahmo swabhav actually as brahman they can have this kind of quality special quality samu damo stapah saucham khyantir arjava mevaba mevacha ज्ञानम विज्ञानम अस्तिम ब्रह्म कर्म स्वभावजम समुदमस्तप शौचम क्षाति आर्जवे आर्जवे च ज्ञान विज्ञान अस्तिम ब्रह्म कर्म स्वभावजम समो मेन समो मेन कंट्रोल ओवा इन इनसाइड और समो एंड दमो एक्सटर्नल कंट्रोलिंग इंटरनल कंट्रोलिंग थप एस्टिटीज Socha, purity of mind and body, khanti. There is anything coming in their life which can agitate their mind. So bad thing, but still they are going to, you know, control their angry attitude. Rijuta, uh, straightness inside and outside all the same. Like Bhakti Mohan Tagore writing in Kirtan, Antare Bahiri Shama Bebohar Amani Mano Dhabo. What is there inside mind? Same thing in heart. Not that heart is something, mind is speaking something. No, sarvalata means simplicity. Gyan, vigyan, avastikyam. Gyan means general knowledge, knowledge of sastra. Vigyan means after the gyan is matured, it become with new science. With uh, gyan, when is matured with and uh, its realization, that is called vigyan. Avastikyo means to real to 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 feel from heart. that there is one supreme supreme lord who is supreme controller they should be there so samo damo stapah saucham khantir arjava mevacha gyanam vigyanam astikyam brahma karmo sabhavajam and about khatriya it is written i already discussed i mean one year two years back still ए अबाउट क्षत्रिय क्वालिटीज रिटीन शौर्यम तेज धृतिराक् शौर्यम तेज धृतिदाक्षम युद्धे चाप्य पलायनम दानम ईश्वर भाव भाव से क्षत्रकर्म स्वभाज शौर्यम इज हिरोइजम है न शौर्य तेजम पावर है धृति मेन धौर्य पेशेंसी दाक्षा एफिशियंसी efficiency regarding so many thing uh, to uh, get control over enemy everything dakshaha samari in in the battlefield they are not going to fly from battlefield and dan they have their natural bhava to donate something because they are, have some kingly you know mood and silata they have some they know how to honor how to honor guru vishnu bhagwan on elderly person they know silata if i want to give example of silata soberness then i already give, that day and ram navami day was i was discussing about the softness uh, humble attitude of ram chandra they always humble in front of brahman vishnu guru always they silata so parikshit maharaj also with folded hand speaking and also judishthir maharaj pithu maharaj amaris maharaj they all having this kind of qualities you know especially they are very humble a uh, prabhutva shakti vistar mean the they can you know get control over society uh, or country prabhutva shakti vistar and they can get control over you know popular over, over society this is the main सो सौर्ज तेजो धृतिदाक्षम युद्धे चापी अपलायन दान विश्वर भाव से क्षत्रकर्म स्वभाव इट इज द स्वभाव नैचुरल यू नो 
naturally this kind of mood should be there gun even karma actually so and about vaisha segregation it is written that krishi goraksho banijyam vaisya karma sabhavajam krishi mean cultivation and to and to and to serve gomata goraksha banijya mane business they can do they should do uh, economical factor they can control so krishi goraksho banijyam vaisya karma sabhavajam it is the nature of vaishwa and paricharya paricharjatmakam karma shudra swapi sabhavajam shudra they can serve all these four all these three you know categories of you know you know they can you know, serve brahman vaishnav brahman 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 and khatriya vaishya they can serve the whole society according to their capacity they can clean roads and everything clean electricity everything they can do shudra shudra they can serve them different way also it is very important that according to chatur varna and ashram if we find that in a brahman boy at all these brahman qualities are not seen in that case it is the rule not to and not to indicate that he is brahman i can give example also from simad bhagavat ji mahapuran actually 7th canto 11 chapter 35 slok also i discussed before many time jasu yat lakshanam praktam pungsho varna vibhanjakam tadannatra api disheto tatte naiva vinirdishet actually jasu yat lakshanam praktam the way the 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 way of segregation the way of segregation already you know already given before that who is khatriya who is brahman who is khatriya who is shudra who is brahm who is actually uh, vaishya who is actually shudra okay those are the main lakshan symptoms but jasu jasu yat lakshanam praktam pungsho varna vibhanjakam according to their varna so it is the usual rule to point out the activities if at all this kind of activities are seen this kind of bhava if seen in them then it is the rule to point out them according to varna uh, vibhanjakam varna vibhanjakam means according to varna jasu yat lakshanam pungsho varna vibhanja varno but varna vibhanjakam what kind of what kind of character is swaying you should you should mind it first otherwise if you uh, if you make a general system okay the son of brahman must be brahman the son of vaishya must be vaishya this is not the rules i can give you so many example then you can understand why bhakti mnotaku wanted to establish a total scientific system and the order was giving to sila prabha to install this system because bhakti mnotaku could realize that in future somebody in the name of daiva varnasram they can misuse this system and try to take some undue advantage like at present you are already looking eh watching so josso jod lakshanam praktam pungso varna vibhanjakam according to varna uh, pungso according to which varna which activities you can watch and according to that you will have to identify but if it is not uh, possible to detect that way tadann tadannatrapi disheto tatte naiva vini disheto if directly if directly you cannot understand if you directly get, you cannot catch because in that case if it is not possible in that case you will have to think about the tatta inner meaning of this varna sandarma what is the tatta tadannatrapi disheto if it is not seen that brahman boy is not that kind of quality not seen in him in that case tadannatrapi in that case you will have to consider you have to go through analytical judgment of tatta through which you will have to decide 
you will have to take decision you will have to decide in which category you can put him into follow this was the system that time actually uh, those who are great rishimunis they used to take this responsibility so i can give you example actually one by one then you can realize that this system is really scientific system like uh, that day i was speaking the always that day i mean 2 3 4 4 hari katha i was 3 3 4 5 days ago maybe i was speaking so actually according to according to our parampara guru parampara so halfway prabhupad was bound to set the rules halfway mantra parampara and halfway bhagavat parampara because usually it is seen that mantra parampara is uh, sometime become disturbed in that case you cannot get in connection it's not disrupted the connection is disrupted in that case you will have to reconnect otherwise you cannot you uh, know get the flow of that power so it is the usual rule that uh, guru parampara okay but if usually it is seen guru parampara is disturbed in that can bhagavat parampara of same teaching bhagavat parampara you can reconnect so in that case you can keep your you know if you if you can you can get your power intact so this is a system so actually <coughs> so actually you know i can point out from bhagavatam shrimad bhagavatam that all you know the boys of you know um, this rishabh ji maharaj 100 boys out of them some become khatriya raja some become brahman some become you know this way i can show you that 81 actually of is you know boys they was treated as brahman karmakandi brahman they become so this way actually they become brahman so actually they are actually khatriya how they become brahman because that kind of quality were seen in them also we can see that vaishishtya muni took birth from apsara also agastya muni from pichar rishi singh muni from deer this way actually uh, you can see that birth is not the only reason to point out his you know varnashram is not possible so how it is possible sometime you can see scorpio the scorpio bichwa we hindi we speak so they can develop from from raw from raw rice long time if you speak for 5 years then you can find there is some there is some you know uh, you know this uh, scorpio germinated so also from the father and mother of scorpio a uh, scorpio take birth ha huh? this way uh, through birth only through birth you cannot point out this is not the system so jasso jat lakshanam praktam pungsho varna vivenjakam तदनत्रापी दिशे तो तत्व नई व विनिर्द दिशे सो इट इज़ अ सिस्टम टू इंडिकेट देम अकॉर्डिंगली आदरेस द बिग यू नो डिस्टरबेंस इन द सोसाइटी आल्सो सिर्फ सचिदानंद वक्त में टाकू स्पीकिंग दैट सचिदानंद वक्त में टाकू स्पीकिंग वो डी दैट इज़ द मूड ऑफ प्रोपार्ट एक्चुअली व्हाई प्रोपार्ट we initiated by vishnu mantra vishnu mantra diksha after getting diksha and vishnu mantra why popad wanted to give them skirt thread that is the main question of the sahajyas now bhakti mun tagu speaking that if they are at all going to take diksha vaishnavi diksha i mean uh, you know vishnu mantra diksha so in that case they will have to change their mood automatically automatically it's an automatic factor sometime sometime not automatic factor those who are shudra those who are actually vaishya kshatriya sabhav they forcefully taking diksha and they are not at all 
ready to you know go up upper level they are not ready they saw some prejudicial idea forcefully they want to maintain their you know life you know so prabhupad wanted to give them skirt thread simply because prabhupad wanted to say that at least you must attain brahmin quality if skirt thread is there you can worship salgam and everything if you are actually initiated then you will have to worship and bhakti mr tagore speaking that doesn't means you are getting paramarthic brahmanatva you are getting paramarthic brahmanatva so you are getting paramarthic brahmanatva that doesn't mean you can go to society and start worshiping and you can earn money like a brahman in the society doing bhakti mr tagore this is wrong for this reason you are not giving this skirt thread skirt thread skirt thread given to you only to maintain your brahman quality and gradually if you are going to take the association of guru vishnu then gradually one day one by one gradually one some day you can attain uh, attain vishnu quality but not before so at least minimum brahman quality should be there uh, समोदम शौच सरलता आर्जव आदि सो डिफरेंट कैंड ऑफ क्वालिटीज एंड इन भागवतम सेवन कंट्रो ऑल्सो वी कैन डिस्कस दिस श्लोक ऑल्सो मेनी टाइम बिफोर आई टोल विप्रा दिशर गुण जुता अरबिंद नाव पदारविंद विमुखा सपचंबरिष्ठम विप्रा दिशर गुण जुता अरविंद नाव अ ब्राह्मण इफ एक्सटर्नली यू सी हिज ब्राह्मण विप्रा दिशर गुर जुता बरबिन नंबर ट्वेल्व डिफरेंट नाइस क्वालिटीज दैट ए ब्राह्मण शुड हैव दैट कैन क्वालिटीज अ दे विप्रा दिशर गुण जुता अरबिंद नाभ पदारबिंद विमुखा बट ही इज लेस इंटरेस्टेड टू और शिव विष्णु एज नॉट गोइंग टू शो इन इंटरेस्ट हाँ फॉर विष्णु इन दैट केस विष्णु if is no if is not at all interested to worship vishnu or no shraddha love for vishnu in that case he is not at all brahman so viprat disara guna jutat arvind nav padar bind vimukhat sapacham virushtam he is going to uh, show his adverse attitude from vishnu charan kamal then if we find sapach mane previously that man was in sapach category very low category but after doing hari naam hari kirtan after the, he is going to attend nice qualities to worship krishna in that case in that case he is more than that brahman because that brahman that brahman not going to show least quality whereas this sapacha at present going to show great quality of krishna bhakti vishnu bhakti so how we can say because it is chaitanya charitamrita siddhanta that that uh, irrespective of brahman vaishnava any anything any, who is doing who is going to do hari bhajan he is great not that he is from bamman family he is from shuddha family this kind of conception is not there jai bhaje sei baro abhakti hinchar krishna bhajane nahi jat kuladi vichar regarding krishna bhajan there is no there is no such you know you know you know there is no some judgment the irrespective of caste and creed and country they can go and do hari bhajan so in that case they can do hari bhajan that is there that is their you know that is their that is their quality so according to that they can go so usually uh, in brahman family suppose some srivastav some tibedi trivedi shivastav this kind of brahman title somebody so in some family heritage they are getting so it is a rule at present then nobody going to follow this rule previously 500 years were back that was the rule if in one brahmin family if if in one brahmin family if we find that one after another man step by step for father father for father his for father this way after gone up to seven descendant if they are going to maintain brahmin quality then the present boy 
uh, if seen that this kind of quality there, he can be treated as Brahman. And at present, actually, for the past two three years, it is a system. At least three four, you know, descendant. I mean, from the end their family, as father, for father, for father. This way, if they are going to maintain this kind of quality, I mean, Brahman qualities, then uh, you can watch that the present, you know, present grandson or son is going to get that kind of quality or not. So that is why it is written. जस्सो जो लक्षण प्रोक्त पुंसो वर्णा व्यंजक तदन्नत्रापि दिशे तत्व नईव विनिर्दिशे दिस सिस्टम इज सो यूजफुल सो यूजफुल सो प्रैक्टिकल दैट इफ यू डिस्कस वेरी केयरफुली यू कैन फाइंड सम यू नो ग्रेट यू नो यू नो यू नो गेट यू नो पावर इन इट सो हाउ लाइक आई वॉज I was um, ready to discuss one point that day about uh, ekalabhya. So why this system is more practical? Why this system is more scientific? Why I can give one example through which you can understand easily? I think so. So why ekalabha? Ekalablo without the permission of Guru Dev, going to worship Guru Dev and concern his mind as is going to get some power and that power. uh is actually shudra is very low quality uh, low caste actually so when dronacharya guru donacharya gurudev promise arjun that i am going to make you my topmost this hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram राम राम हरे हरे एक्चुअली ड्यू टू इंटरप्शन आई कुड नो स्पीक सॉरी सो एक्चुअली आई यू स्पीकिंग एक्चुअली शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर वॉन्टेड टू इंस्टॉल दिस दैव वर्णाश्रम धर्म साइंटिफिकली इंस्टॉल सो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ सो From Simad Bhagavat Ji Mahaprabhu, I was speaking this slok. Just so, yad lakshanam praktam pungso varna vivanjakam tadanna trapi disheto tatte nayu vinir disheth. Actually, in a Brahman family, if you find the quality of uh, quality of their, you know, their quality is not proper. One any 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 son there in Brahman family. they are not they is not going to show any brahman quality in that case there is big problem so according to guna karma it is the duty to segregate so now about uh, ekalabha he was bound to give this answer that ekalabha was from a very low caste so he wanted to get this quality of kshatriya so without taking permission from donacharya he started doing some ascetic penances and full concentration and he was able to get some power so actually donacharya already promised arjun that i you are the you are the topmost you are my topmost disciple so so according their commit commitment actually Or Arjun, no, really Arjun was the topmost disciple. But when some day, in front of Dronacharya and Arjun, all teams, I mean all those who are taking lesson from Arjun, uh, taking lesson from Dronacharya, were all present there. They could see one extraordinary power of one, you know. man who is going to with this you know bow and arrow bow and arrow is going to give punishment to a dog you know that day arjun speaking who is able to do this after that they could find that ekalabha is uh, he was doing who is doing uh, you know practice inside forest he was successful then in front of donacharya he was paying dandavat then donacharya asking from whom you are learning 
but I concentrate on you, your murti, and I was successful to do it. Then, uh, then Donacharya speaking, what is Guru Dakshina? Oh, yes, I am going to give you Guru Dakshina, anything you ask. Then Donacharya was bound to ask the thumb, I mean right hand thumb. Because this kind of, you know, teaching should not be there with a low caste. He can misuse any time. So, this is only, this is the only reason for why Dronacharya was bound to take Guru Diksha from him this way. So, he was bound to cut his thumb and forever he could, he could ever he lose this kind of capacity. Because this kind of teachings, if, uh, if a Shudra is going to get, then there can be disturbance in the society. Common people speaking, why Dronacharya is acting this way this is not good actually. First point is that without taking permission from Donacharjo, he was doing it and he at the same time he he uh, thinking that Donacharjo is my Guru whereas Gurudev not going to accept him because Gurudev not surely not going to give this kind of teaching to a Sudra which can, who can misuse this you know this you know Astra Vidya this, this Vidya teaching. So this way, that was the system that time, according to Guna Karma, they should be uh, divided into. So, Daiva Varnasam, about, about Daiva Varnasam, Daiva, this word, what do you mean by this Daiva, this word? Actually, those, we, we all Jiva here, we have four kind of problems we are facing. Uh, Doibo ball. Sometimes we are facing Doibo ball, like at present Corona, sometimes tsunami, earthquake, this is called Doibo, Doibo ball. You know, uh, this, this kind of problem we have to face all the time. So, Doibo means it's an automatically coming from on. So, if we are going to forcefully make somebody Brahman, then surely he cannot you know, show his Brahman quality. So forcefully we like to show, if you like to make somebody Brahman forcefully, we cannot do it. But it is a system that skirt head, I mean those are Boisho, Khatriyo and Brahman. Brahman also, Brahman boys, until and unless they are not going to get Brahma Gayatri, till then they are Shudra. That's why it is written in Shastra, Janmana Jayate Shudra Sanskara Dijo Bhavet. Janmana Jayate Shudra. By birth, everybody is Shudra. Janmana Jayate Shudra Sanskara Dijo Bhavet. Sanskara Dijo Bhavet. So, Sanskar means different kind of Sanskar. There is ten dasas. 12 different, uh, 10 different kind of sanskar there right from the beginning uh, uh, when a baby take birth from womb then from then you will have to do one by one sanskar different kind of sanskar uh, ultimately you know sanya sanskar everything and birth actually when a boy taking birth when a, when any baby boy taking birth by birth he is shudra after that sanskar if sanskar is done then he can become Brahman. So, before Sanskar is uh, all same, he is actually uh, Sanskar, uh, Janmana Jayate Sudro, Sanskara Dijo Bhavet. By Sanskar, by the help of Sanskar, they can elevate and do accordingly. So, one birth is that Shokra birth for father and mother. Another birth is that when Brahma Gayati, Brahma Gayati means one special mantra in Rig Veda, by Vishwamitra Rishi, it was discovered because those mantras are already there, eternal present. Only different Muni Rishis, they are going to discover it. Like uh, Vishwamitra Muni, Vasishtha Muni, you can, if you can go through Veda, you can find this Muni, uh, this Muni discovered this mantra. This Muni, Mantra Drashta, it is written in Veda, Mantra Drashta Rishi. So, Vishwamitra Muni, Vasishtha uh, Muni, Jagga Balka, oh, different rishis, they are going to discover different kind of mantras from time to time. So, 
Vishamitra Muni um, discovered this Gayatri Mantra. Gayatri Mantra, Vedamata Gayatri. And Gayatri Mantra is very powerful. If somebody is going to take Diksha from a right Gurudev, Sadguru, is very powerful, then if he is going to accept this mantra with full submission, in that case, if we go on practicing this mantra, it can get power. So, what is the what is the reason for for why those Brahman first they are giving Brahman initiation? First of all, when the boy attained eight eight to within eight to twelve years, they should be given this Brahmagayatri. If they fail, then it is very bad. Within eight to eight years to twelve years within this period, a Brahman boy in Brahman family should get Brahmagayatri. Not only that, if at all they are going to maintain Brahman qualities, I mean, etiquettes, achar, achar, and other so, if they are at all going to uh, you know, follow Shudra rules and regulation, in that case, what use? Taking Gayatri Mantra. Gayatri Mantra is not so easy. If somebody is going to get Gayatri Mantra, it is not a hereditical factor. And you, can, you will have to get it, you can get it, surely you can get it. No, not that. If in this family tradition, they are at all going to pay respect to Gayatri Mantra, they are maintaining efficacy totally like Brahman. In that case, that boy at present, if he is seen, that his quality is not so bad. So, usually they are going to get this Brahma Gayatri from a right you know, guru, from Brahma Gayatri. So, Brahma Gayatri, after taking Brahma Gayatri, they can go on chanting this mantra up to their last, uh, you know, date. Last date, full life, they will have to non-stop, they cannot stop. So this way they will have to chant this mantra with full, you know, respect. And uh, also, uh, then uh, fire, in front of fire, they can be given, you know, fire sacrifice. Through fire sacrifice, they can be given Brahman Diksha. So Brahman, they can become, they can take a uh, scat thread and go on chanting this mantra gradually. And they, if they are going to chant this mantra perfectly, someday they can get power. So Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur wanted to prove that those who are taking birth, actually by birth everybody is Shudra. So if they are at all ready to do Hari Bhajan from heart, not that forcefully I bring from here and there some people, you start Hari Bhajan, it's not possible. At all, they are going to show respect for Hari Bhajan. At all, if they have self-submission, at all, they are going to show humble attitude. At all, if they are going to put some uh, self-interrogation, then this Gayatri Mantra can act very, many, very nicely. Otherwise, you know, simple way they can go on doing. And this Gayatri Mantra is very helpful to cut material bondage. So, Gayatri Mantra can help you to cut material bondage. So, if somebody giving, getting Gayatri Mantra in Brahman family, if at all their family is totally Brahman and the boy is it's a showing Brahman quality, in that case that Gayatri Mantra can be very helpful for him. That is why those who are Brahman, they are getting this kind of power. Brahman usually they are powerful. Why? Because of this Gayatri Mantra, they are doing Japa and maintaining their life properly. So, they are going to maintain this. So, Prabhupada wanted to give them this scar thread, uh, otherwise they cannot chant Gayatri Mantra. So, to help them to cut material bondage, Gayatri Mantra is really very helpful. Gayatri Mantra can help you, but those who are Matajis, they cannot maintain their regular life. For them it is not allowed. Uh, they can do it through Mahamantra. If they have faith in Mahamantra, full faith, they can get same quality. No problem. So I can give example from the writings of Bhakti Minut Thakur. Actually, those who are going to do Japa or Gayatri Mantra, they are able to cut material bondage. Brahmani Ramate Iti Brahmana. Brahman, this doesn't mean that only Skarthir is there. You see, I am Brahman. So I am from Brahma. That is not the evidence. 
If at all he is Brahman, his efficacy is Brahman, family heritage is Brahman, he is going to chant Gayatri Mantra properly, then he can get power surely. So, this way they can get power. Otherwise, if he is going to drop Gayatri Mantra, not going to show respect for Gayatri three times in a day, then how they can get power? I don't know. Only the skirt that they can show, we are Brahman. This is the symptom there. Actually, Popat wanted to give Gayatri mantra to his devotees because through Gayatri mantra they can get extra help. Extra help. Mahamantra is really a prakito. Real a prakito. Mahamantra is a prakito. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur speaking. If at all somebody growing hundred percent faith in Mahamantra, in that case he need not take anything, even not diksha. दीक्षा पुरस्चरण विधि अपेक्षा न करे नाम जीवा स्पर्शे वेन एव इज गोइंग टू अर्थ दिस हरिना महामंत्र महामंत्र इट सेल्फ सो पावरफुल इट यू नीड नॉट टेक एनी अदर हेल्प बट यूजुअली पीपल कैन नॉट शो हंड्रेड हंड्रेड परसेंट रेस्पेक्ट इन महामंत्र बिकॉज दे आर मेटेरियली अटैच सु काट मेटेरियल बॉन्डेज to to cut material bondage is the first problem so to cut material bondage uh, prabhupad wanted to give them this you know gayatri mantra and you know skirt head so that so that they can uh, with full respect they can go on chanting the gayatri mantra and gayatri mantra maintaining balance between a uh, prakriti jagat and prakriti jagat and this gayatri devi also took birth as Kam Gayatri uh, in Vrindavan. I can speak about that after. But that this Gayatri mantra can help you to cut material bondage is the is the easiest way. That's why Prabhupada wanted to give them to help them to cut material bondage because so long as they are in connection with Maya, I mean Anartha, they cannot start actual bhajan. So it was the it was the idea of Sir Prabhupada Siddhanta of Sir Prabhupada. to help bonded soul to cut material bondage first to come guys three they can practice maha mantra sometime they can do nama para dam time they can nama vas they can sometime a pure nam is not possible for bonded soul pure nam so through this gayatri mantra prabhupad wanted to help them that is why is card tet and gayatri mantra was given uh, it was the system that time but after that another point is that prabhupada bhakti mun thakur speaking if at all somebody having 100 100% respect in hari naam he 100% believe that hari naam maha mantra can give everything really so itself hari naam maha mantra can give everything but we don't have belief in hari naam maha mantra 100% if somebody having that kind of strong belief in hari naam maha mantra in that case he can take diksha who cannot take diksha but it depends who can who can pass judgment pure guru vishnu can pass judgment that is why raghunath das goswami never wanted to make any compromise because raghunath das goswami could realize if i going to speak directly this way then nobody everybody can cut system so raghunath das goswami speaking in his you know shloka that गुरो गोष्ठे गोष्ठालयसु भुगने भूसु सुरुगणे समंत्रे शी नामनी दिस मंत्र गिविन इन दिस माम इन दिस मंत्र आई मीन इन दिस राइटिंग रघुनाथ दास गोइंग रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी बाद अवार प्रयोजन था तो आचार्य गोइंग टू कन्फर्म दैट यू शुड नॉट ब्रेक दिस रीड समंत्रे शी नामनी समंत्र मीन मंत्र दीक्षा नामनी नामनी मीन नाम हर हरि नाम महान तो सेपरेटली बट ही वॉन्ट टू मीन्स महामान तो सेपरेटली समंत्री मीन विष्णु मान तो दीक्षा मंत्र सो यू शुड नॉट मेक एनी कम्प्रोमाइज बिकॉज इज रेयर केस समटाइम यू कैन फाइंड सम बॉडी फुल्ली इंटरेस्टेड अबाउट हरि नाम दिस हरि नाम कैन गिव एवरी थिंग दिस हरि नाम कैन गिव एवरी थिंग सो दिस इन दैट केस हरि नाम कैन गिव एवरी थिंग He need not go for any diksha, uh, purusharan, nothing. No, we if we are going to this mahamantu, going to touch tongue, can give all siddhi, everything. Siddhi means 
prem bhakti also so how it was possible for you know uh, how it was possible that for that you know that uh, disciple of naraji maharaj who in kum in in uh, in ilahabad one day naraji maharaj and parvat muni uh, naraji maharaj going first first incident mahapu speaking to sanatan one day actually naraji maharaj going through one forest somebody shouting hey why you come this way then naraji maharaj what wrong i have done but i am actually hunter say so you come then my target gone so naraji oh you are the man who is going to kill this way huh? so yes i have done with full proud is you know claiming so naraji maharaj speaking it i have one request what request what do you need any tiger skin or anything i can give you come with me in my cottage no 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 i have one request what request if you are at all going to kill one jivatma one jiva you must kill fully not half killing half killing yes half killing if you kill half then they are you know, feeling pain very much so what it concern to you man actually if you are going to give this kind of pain bard tap tap bard is the system that you will have, as per the judgment of shastra you will have to suffer sand pain bard tap tap bard so you are going to kill countless jivas so you have to suffer for countless period oh really yes then what to do how to go out of sinful activities first of all you will have to throw all your bow and arrows and then i can give you some mantra uh, you can take bath in river ganga and ta- come to me then actually that you know that you know the hunter he started doing japa of mantra so through this mantra he was successful to come out come out successful and in kirtan also lo na actually bhakti mun thakur sing bhakti mun writing is kirtan narod muni bajaye bina radhika raman name is speaking so actually brahma shankar all everybody dancing and singing this na maha mantra this way they are successful all so through this mantra uh, and also in different time we can show some other case that only maha mantra is successful in their life only maha mantra is successful so this way actually haridas thakur you see haridas thakur haridas thakur when giving maha mantra to this you uh, know to this you know this lakshahira pros best only maha mantra and she got she received mantra from haridas thakur and starting doing japa with full faith and that maha mantra by the grace of haridas thakur was successful so she got siddhi i mean krishna prema that's why thousands of people from different corner of this you know society coming to meet her to get kripa from her so we should not disbelieve that is why bhakti mur talk giving this siddhanta if somebody because of his previous good sanskar if somebody because of his good sanskar previous sanskar going to believe in mahamantra full faith in mahamantra in that case in chaitanya chaitamiti it is written really so diksha puras charan vidhi apeksha na kare manto sparse jiva sparse achandale uddhare whenever this mantra is going to touch this tongue even those who are chandal very low caste he can deliver everybody there is a system so we should not disbelieve it bhakti mur talk giving this siddhanta that is why it is written that doesn't mean we can break all the system so we need not take any mantra from anybody we can only chant maha mantra even maha mantra we will have to take from right source even if we are not going to take maha mantra from right source that maha mantra cannot act properly there is the problem so first of all source is very important so if somebody going to believe that maha mantra can get everything in that case he need not take diksha otherwise diksha everybody should take diksha nobody should ignore diksha through diksha they can get kripa from gurudev 
and they can go on doing this kind of mantra chant mantra three times in a day and they can cut material bondage very easily and they can go up to that level of prema so this is a system so actually actually propad wanted to install this uh, varnasram daiva varnasram dharma so that nobody can take undue advantage so now at present everybody going to break this rules and regulation if somebody like to marry somebody they can marry but usually actually varnasram dharma there is some system this caste is actually on the basis of the judgment i already told you so if this caste going to marry that caste inter caste marriage is prohibited because in can in that case varna sankar varna sankar actually can mixed hybrid there is strictly prohibited and bhagwan sri krishna in gita also strictly speaking in from arjun varna sankar is very fearful thing and at present we are watching anybody like to marry marry anybody they can do they are doing it without following any rules and regulations they are going to pass judgment okay maharaj we are following actually daiva varna sam but i can prove not they are not following daiva varna if at all they are going to follow daiva varna sam and first of all daiva varna sam was applicable in this dharma khetra bharat dharma khetra dharma khetra in india bharat totally and those who are going to do hari bhajan from the for them they are allowed to do hari bhajan but they cannot make problem ha huh? they then in that case big you know society can break down or rules and regulation and future generation can get contaminated this way we can break all the system so what popad wanted to do popad wanted to install this daiva varna sam perfectly so that according to their the according to their guna karma vibhag uh, they can be segregated and anyway maybe they are segregated but still irrespective of caste and creed everybody allowed to do hari bhajan so the point i was uh, bound to discuss that bhakti mur tagu speaking not that if somebody getting uh, skirt text skirt in goriamat so he can go outside uh, to earn money Uh, earn money and worshiping in here and there that is the duty of brahman those who are maintaining their life through archan those who are going to maintain their life through archan if somebody going to snatch somebody going to snatch their you know somebody going to snatch their duty it is very bad so it is not good that somebody can snatch somebody's duty all according to our guna karma they are bound to follow rules and regulations set by krishna one example i can i can speak uh, from two days 60 years back almost 60 years back there was a big you know agitation in vrindavan actually the agitation was started by one shudra neta political leader he is himself shudra he started agitation agitation he started agitation with this mood that why only those people the brahman vaishnav can worship in temple so we are also we are we should also worship so they make one big plan they gather all people the shudra and started agitation then after that actually what happened you see uh, they those were you know ignorant people those were sweeping this that uh, those were low caste they started agitation they wanted to attack the temple they wanted to snatch on all you know duties of brahman vaishnav and that case there was some special incident that time and after that that the man was given heavy punishment why you are going to um, going to misuse this system why you are going to mislead people this way actually it is not the rule that or shudra they can go and take control over temple and they can throw out brahman and vaishna from that temple this no do everybody has their respective duties they have their respective duties for the society and for himself also so they can follow the system and they can go ahead and if they are going to follow system properly then the system ultimately going to give them result 
proper. So ultimately they are going to do, if they are ready to do Krishna Bhajan, finally they can do Krishna Bhajan and they can come out successful, but not that they can break the system set in the society. So if those who are, you know, going to text card, that Paramarthik Brahmanatha, Bhakti Muttaku speaking, Paramarthik Brahmanatha given to you, not that you can go and snatch the duty of Brahman from the society. It is not the rule. So, there is so, so many rules and regulations. Those who are sannyasis, they should maintain their rules and regulations. Not that they can take the association of women, everything they can do at the same time, they can maintain this ashram dharma, sannyas dharma, it is not a rule. If some sannyasi is going to fall down, it means, suppose he is coming from a Brahmin family, he is from, from Brahmin family, Srivastap, his name, previous title, but when he is going to take initiation, then he is automatically, his uh, title become, what, what? His title become actually Ochuta Gotra. His Gotra. Gotra mean, Gotra mean actually uh, different streams coming from different rishis. Parampara, from rishis, from rishi Gotra. Uh, suppose Kashyap Muni, from Kashyap Rishi going some stream of, you know, flow. And from Durbasa Muni, from this Muni, that Muni, but different. Not Durbasa, maybe some other Munis, Vishamitra and other Munis. From there, that is Shandila Gotra, we are the Kashyap Gotra, we are speaking this way. It is a system usually there in India, where Varnasam Dharma was effective all along for them. So, it is actually a system. So, if they are going to break this system, in that case, big problem can be there. So, if Sanyasi is going to take initiation and he become a Chutagatra, also after taking sannyas, he is going to, in renounce, renounce, full, full renounce order, he is going to take sannyas ashram. Sannyas ashram is the topmost ashram, but he is going to break down, if he become fall down, uh, then in that case, if he can throw all sannyas base, sometimes they are not going to throw sannyas base, it is a system. And because Krishna can never forget, forgive them. Those who are going to show kapat attitude for them, the gate of Krishna is always, you know, shut down. Krishna cannot excuse them. Especially those who are renounce order, sannyas, any kind of tolerance is not allowed. Why they have taken? Before taking, why they not thinking what to do, what not to do? That's why Krishna cannot tolerate it. So, actually, if at all there is any fall down, in that case, if, he is, if that man is going to take decision, well, I can go back to my home and I can lead my family life, he can do it. But he cannot take the title, he cannot take the title previously he used to do. That title is not, because he is already out of uh, Barnasram automatically. Because he is going to throw, he is, you know, break everything. So not that he can go back from uh, going to use the same title as he was used to do previously. That title he cannot take. It's not a rule. So this is this way actually. He can use Achyutagata, he can try again in bhajan. Not that he cannot come out successful. Someday he can come out successful, someday that he can do. If there is a, he is going to cry over and again in front of Krishna, I have done mistake, please excuse me, please excuse me, Sadhguru Vishnu can go kepa. In that case, uh, he can come out successful. That is a separate thing, but he cannot you know, break the system. So, Sanyas Ashram uh, is the topmost ashram, you know. Uh, actually, from, uh, from the beginning, actually we say, so, Grihastha, actually, Brahmacharya, Grihastha, Banaprastha and Sanyas, tough. And those who are going to, uh, those who are going to do bhajan in such a way, they cut all, you know, Varna Nasram system, then they can become Paramahansa. Like our all Guru Bhargava, though, though you can find them in Sanyas Ashram, Sanyas Ashram, but still, they, all they are Paramahansa actually. So, so everybody, 
allowed to do hari bhajan not that they can break system everybody is allowed they are allowed to do start hari bhajan but they can forcefully say why i am not qualified why i am not qualified i should do it but actually sidhar mara used to speak in very exclusive way that now don't allow them to enter temple now don't allow them to enter kitchen because they are not developing that kind of quality at present that kind of purity they cannot maintain but they are fighting why we already have skirt that why we cannot so in our dauji temple in bindavan there also some you know fighting took place i was not there at that present that time some sanyasi beating somebody why you are entering but actually what is the mood of sidhar gusai maharaj what they wanted to speak they want to speak at least you should develop quality first without developing quality if you are going to enter into kitchen room it is direct seva of krishna if you have kama inside no brahman quality nothing inside your heart you you are going to cook that that you know bhoga cannot be offered in a temple then what happened then the whole system can break down so sidhar ma used to speak them that at present don't allow them inside deity room to worship they don't have that kind of you know quality at present they can make problem also don't allow them to enter into kitchen they cannot do it properly as actually we are so you as we are so puffed up we are so in you know, a false ego we have we are always fighting on this ground why i have already taken skirt that why not i can is if come on man you are foolish popad wanted to give this skirt head at least to at least to show the quality of brahman after that vaishnav is more and more high so sanatan go sai pad rupa go sai pad jiva go sai pad especially you know sanatan go sai rupa they are from topmost brahman brahman family eh they are from you know bharat raj gotriya bharat raj bharat raj gotriya they are from very topmost you know family you know mera in brahmin family but still they always used to express this kind of humble attitude i am not qualified whole life i am doing bad sangha satsanga material sangha i am a fallen soul how i can go out in front of mahaprabhu always they are showing this kind of humble attitude you you should remember it you should remember actually sanatan go swami pad when he was free from jail somehow managed to reach and uh, baranasi took information where prabhu is then he was sitting outside gate then mahaprabhu antaryami or you know asking chandrasekhar prabhu you go outside uh, you can find some vaishnav there you bring inside then chandrasekhar going outside and again he close the door and go inside and inform prabhu there is no vaishnav there is no vaishnav somebody there yes somebody who as darvesh darvesh mean actually muslim with black <laughs> and you know is there yes i mean him he is vaishnav yes he is vaishnav being him <laughs> then sanatan coming with the darvesh base then mahaprabhu you know started you know loving him with hands you know rolling on his back and you know speaking all you know loveful you know words then actually sanatan go sai was speaking prabhu don't touch me i am a fallen soul i am this that mahapu was speaking you go fast shave your head everything change your clothes everything and then come take bath in ganga then come but sanatan go sai path never rupa go sai path never in his life they wanted to prove that we are brahman whereas they are from topmost brahman family you can remember in purushottam khetra they used to stay with haridas thakur they used to say we have no right to enter into jagannath temple we have no right to enter into jagannath temple they are jagannath pandas they are pandas are there they are doing giving seva to jagannath so i can touch them great problem i can make aparad so their whole life they are not going to enter into jagannath temple they are, usually they used to stay 
and with Haridas Thakur Samadhi Mandir separately, so that they they are they are so that they cannot touch anybody directly. So so they think we are so fallen. So but at present we are so puffed up, we are fighting. Why I have started? Why I am not initiated already? You are actually pure. I am not pure. This way fighting. This is not the point of fighting. This is not the question. Actually, actually, you will have to realize from your heart. The more you are going to, uh, the more you are going to do bhajan, the more you can develop humble attitude, and automatically you can discover you are so fallen soul. You are so fallen soul. I am so fallen soul. I have no right to go there. Haridas Thakur is not Brahman. You think Haridas Thakur is a Muslim? You think so? How you think so? Haridas Thakur is Muslim. Haridas Thakur is Brahman, pure Brahman. But actually, externally, Haridas Thakur showing that I am from, I am from Muslim family. So I have no right to even enter into uh, you know Gambhira Mandir. Those devotees are there. They are going to touch me. I can make great offerat. You see the see the mood of Mahaprabhu when Mahaprabhu uh, Mahaprabhu watching whether Haridas Thakur is there or not. Mahaprabhu asking, I look, I see everybody, but where is my Haridas? Where is Haridas? You call Haridas here. Then everybody running the outside and they discovered the Haridas Thakur Haridas Thakur paying prostrate dandavar in the road itself outside and crying in the name of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They requesting Haridas Thakur to come inside to meet to meet Mahaprabhu. Haridas Thakur crying, I have no power to go inside. You please request Prabhu that I cannot go inside. I am a fallen soul. If I go, I can touch everybody. Is a great great aparat for me. I am a fallen soul. Then when information Mahaprabhu got this information, Mahaprabhu was very very happy. Mahaprabhu was very very happy. Mahaprabhu never wanted to break the social system, but inside Mahaprabhu wanted to give full kipa to Haridas Thakur. You know, come on, Haridas Thakur, Sanatan, Rupa Goswami Pad, they are not going to Jagannath Temple. So what? So what? Jagannath himself going inside Bajan Kuti to give darshan, not isn't it? So Mahaprabhu every day after in Mangal Arati taking darshan of Jagannath. And taking tulsi and whatever prasad ma panda they used to give him, then Mahaprabhu going to take everything fast in front of, in front of Hari Das Thakur darshan. Then after that taking darshan, giving darshan. After that Mahaprabhu going here and there. Not fast system, fast you know. Then Mahaprabhu coming every day. And so you see the love of Jagannath. So externally, they are not going to enter into Jagannath temple. So what? Jagannath himself come in to give darshan. There is more than enough. So we are always busy with fighting moods. So that is why we are not getting any, you know, exact result of our bhajan. We are not going to get exact result of our bhajan simply because we are always full of, you know, false ego. False ego. We are always full of false ego. That's why we cannot understand this point. Also, I can give you remember that those who are jagik brahman, jagik brahman, when Bhagwan Sri Krishna sending Sudam, Sudam, Basudam, everybody go and beg rice from that jagya prasadam there. When they are going to beg that brahman. They are less interested to look at them. They are so puffed up. We are Brahman, eh? right? They are coward boy. Who going to attend them? Not even giving any answer. Yes or no? At least, at least they should speak. Yes or not? Not speaking anything. They are not looking at them. Then, then after that, they come back to Krishna speaking. We re we requested them, but they are not going to look at us at all. Oh, really? Then uh, I am going to send you to the Jagi Brahmins. No, no, no. Okay, you go there. You can find they are going to give response immediately. Not only that, they can run. There, they can run and come to me. So 
that's why that's why actually krishna bhagwan giving instruction to them they then they all going again to that place in front of jagik brahman bho bho jagi jagik patni patni in front of them they are requesting and those jagik patni hearing the name of krishna out of full ecstasy they are you know they are actually going to give all you know rice chapati sabji everything all prasadam not only that but also they are going to carry all prasadam uh, and they are running towards krishna you see their respect so this way brahmana dev who is brahmana dev brahmana dev is krishna brahmana dev krishna but krishna is brahmana dev but krishna himself you know manifesting lila you know lila you know what vaishya so nanda maharaj is vaishya <laughs> nanda maharaj vaishya and manifesting this kind of lila where is his brahmana dev all brahman quality and everything infinity world everything can come from krishna he is said brahmana dev but he is going to manifest this kind of lila i am vaishya actually and vasudev ji was khatriya so also in mathura uh, in when Ma, in mathura you know vasudev krishna went to bird is going to show khatriya attitude so this way actually but one point is that when those brahman could realize their fault they started crying by the mercy of krishna they could realize their you know their their weak points they could realize their faults and they state they started crying dhig janma nastab dhig janma nastri vid vidvam dhig vratam dhig bahut gyatam dhig kulam dhig kriya dhaksham vimuksha jetu adhaksha je we are averse to adhaksha so this is our great problem dhig janma nastri vid vidvam and our we took uh, different time when we you know uh, dhig janma nastri vid vidyam we three time i told i told already when a man going to take birth from the womb of mother first birth second when going to get gayatri second birth and when going to take the shelter of a realized soul sadguru like prabhupad ah eh, in that case third third birth so is the final birth uh, so those you know those jagik brahman they are speaking we think we are very erudite scholar we think we are very gyani but we actually foolish number one dhik janma nastribit three types of birth we took all use like and whatever education ved vedanta everything we learn in our life all useless dhik vratam uh, we have taken vow not to speak not to do this that vow is all useless dhik bhogatam we are you are we are actually you know knowledgeable personality this kind of all dhik 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 mane going to express phai actually we should be ashamed of our janma of our vidva of our brata of our you know you know we are showing that we are we are all knowledge we are all knowledgeable personality but all useless dhik kulam and itself we you know we are going to you know we are going to express our you know you know very sai for the cool the race family from which uh, uh, we have taken birth the family we belongs to so dik kulam dik kriya dhaksham we can do jag jagya everything we have efficiency dik kriya dhaksham all useless because we are averse to krishna the brahman adhakshajo adhakshajo krishna that's why you see when those you know when those you know as brahman jagik brahman could could realize their their faults then they become actual brahman so long they are fighting so long they are fighting but when they as soon as they could as soon as they could realize that we are all useless because we are averse to krishna that is the actual that is the actual point they develop humble attitude they are develop humble attitude their mood is now changing towards krishna that is good 
another example i can give from shastra actually 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 you see in front of vasishta muni vasishta muni was very powerful in front of vasishta muni actually uh, one muni is uh, no, his name is actually uh, i forget uh, name is uh, we gayatri mantra just uh, i told na uh, is uh, from coming from vishamitra uh, muni vishamitra muni is requesting to to you know this rishi vasishta muni that you please declare that i am an uh, brahmarshi because actually vasishta muni is speaking no no not at all at present i cannot declare because you are not at that position at present you will have to wait then he become very angry again he request him he said no no time you know now you are not in such a position so that i can declare that you are in bomorsi i cannot declare then he was very angry very angry so angry wanted to pick up hostile you know you know hostility he started fighting with vasishta muni but anyway vasishta muni not going to change his decision the day i can see that kind of quality in you surely i can declare that you are bomorsi but not now then he was you know so you know you know so angry that he wanted to kill he wanted to kill who vasishta muni 100 hundred, hundred you know sons were killed by uh, killed by you know this money uh, you know this money so the money the money, this money already killed hundred of his sons of vasishta muni still vasishta muni not going to change his decision ultimately they were he took decision to kill vasishta muni so he was standing in a deep forest and watching that vasishta muni and his wife discussing something secretly what they are discussing they are discussing as i said actually uh, our vishamitra muni doing so nice astuti and finances is just like the moon the moonlight is so bright today purnam purnamasi purnima and a moonlight is so bright and so his light is you know going all around his name and fame so nice astuti and finances doing but here that you know that rishi waiting with knife to kill cutter to cut you know vasishta muni when he heard that even after killing hundred of his sons he is going to glorify me what is this i thought he is my enemy then he immediately ran from the ambush come in front and fall down in legs and crying please excuse me i have done mistake i have done mistake please excuse me i am not qualified to be declared as you know then vasishta muni catch him and take him lap you know embrace him and declaring today i am going to declare today i am going to declare that you are brahmarshi because some changes special changes coming in in your life so out of your you know astuti and finances you are out of all you know sinful activities like so bright like the moon then the sky so anyway never mind it was my luck that i lost my 100 sons anyway I, today i am going to declare you as uh, today i am going to declare you as brahmarshi so one or two or three examples i am giving so many examples i am giving through which you should realize as soon as that kind of quality appear inside the heart of inside the heart of that vishamitra muni vishamitra muni immediately he declared that you are so sadhu guru vaishnav and those rishis they are going to declare that you are in shuddha stage you are still today in shudra stage still today in vaishya stage still today you are in khatriya stage still today you are in brahman stage in what stage you are how you can understand a guru vaishnav pure guru vaishnav can declare krishna bhajan everybody can do and prabhupada also can allow you this scope 
so that you can go and do bhajan and chant gayatri mantra at least to cut this material bondage because within this material bondage staying uh, so long as you are going to stay in this material bondage krishna bhajan is not possible to be frank a prakita krishna bhajan is not possible with anartha i can discuss this point tomorrow with anartha it is impossible to start krishna bhajan in true sense so anyway you will have to go so up and up so varna sam dharma we cannot disturb we have no right to disturb all varna sam dharma at the same time we must follow the rules and regulations shown by pure guru vishnu pure guru vishnu shown by pure guru vishnu we must maintain our lifestyle to at least uh, you know attain that kind of quality so that we can start krishna bhajan so daiva var daiva varna sam dharma doesn't mean i can run fancifully i can do whatever i like you can remember maybe one hour one year or two years back some uh, devotee from bhopal is not devotee he came to take instruction from me whether to marry that lady or not i was sitting and giving answer i was giving answer to their question you approve our marriage i say no why no well i cannot approve because i cannot find is daiva varna sram is not applicable here only for enjoyment we like to marry so i cannot allow because i am sitting in basasan if i am at all sitting in basasan how i can speak like it's not possible this way i cannot allow you so you have a uh, you have your right to go anywhere you can take permission you know i cannot give permission so anyway so daiva varna sam is not a matter of joke is most scientific as shown by krishna and chaitanya mahaprabhu never wanted to disturb this system i already told you though chaitanya mahaprabhu wanted to give you know trace to bhajan only atma dharma but still externally mahaprabhu never wanted to disturb this you know system never wanted to dis- like you know sometime mahaprabhu speaking that um, i should follow what uh, my Ma- guru varga so mahapo sometimes speaking to show bhakti but not always always they are going to maintain system even when rup uh, anupam and rupakoshami pad going to arail gram you can remember when sonatan goswami i uh, when uh, not sonatan actually rupakoshami pad and anupam i know meet mahaprabhu some day uh, i know that in a, i know there from arailga ballab bhatt ballab bhatt coming to invite and we are, they are going there by boat so after reaching there there uh, you know ballab bhatt going to pay down the bus but no 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 don't pay they are actually fallen so <laughs> mahaprabhu joking with ballab mahaprabhu knowing that ballab bhatt has some you know false ego he is from high i mean high family and a very high family so mahaprabhu is don't pay round about to them they are actually fallen so <laughs> ballavatta now thinking how they are fallen so all the time they are singing the glories of krishna ma mantra so to actually this is a sist it is a siddhanta of shastra those who are going to sing the glories of krishna all the time how how they can be shudra <laughs> so ballavatta uh, started speaking i think it is one kind of joking they actually think they are from high family you know race uh, this way mahaprabhu always wanted to maintain some rules and regulation never wanted to disturb this you know social system so if the social system going to break down in that kill all system we cannot reach our goal so through this varna sam dharma the varna sam dharma not that that doesn't mean that varnasam dharma is above all dharma varnasam dharma is actually not all finally when you can reach uh, uh, up to that level you can discover that varnasam dharma or uh, everything rules and regulation all external ultimately you can find that all external nothing but you will have to reach up to that point not that 
uh, at present you can start fighting so when mahaprabhu going to identify himself naham vipra na cha narpatir na api vishana sudra naham varni na cha gyapatir na manasvati jyotir va kintu pradyan nikala parmananda purnamita dher gopi bhartur padakamalayor dasu dasanu dasa this is the actual identity mahaprabhu mahaprabhu wanted to show but mahaprabhu never wanted to break the social system never i can give one by an example from chaitanya charitamrita here there some day now actually this kind of varnasram dharma is so scientific that bhakti minu thakur wanted to get it installed by prabhupad this powerful acharya and second point daiva varnasram daiva varnas according to baba they can enjoy kripa from prabhupad and go on doing bhajan so this way they can attain their success not that they are not an at all qualified prabhupad can give everything you can go mad even for long time when they are waiting to get hari naam from prabhupad that time after that they are waiting for 10 years 15 years to get red cloth after that they are waiting another 10 years 20 years to get sanyas not that is a matter of joking at a time somebody coming well at the same time sanskar hari naam diksha even sanyas at a time is over so that he cannot approach another guru this is a system at present but this system is not allowed not shown by our guru barga now actually to install daiva varna sam first second to install you know to restart the actually vishva vishnu blasa before speaking this word before speaking this word we should realize what is what should realize deeply what can be the meeting what, what i am what i am going to speak vishva vishnu brahsava you see the gravity of this word vishva vishnu brahsava mean be actually jiva gosai pa that time was the last you know rajpatra you know of that vishva vishnu brahsava at that time it was the rules and regulation everybody should follow rules and regulation same rules and regulation not that not that it is you know we, i can i can speak heavily against you i can give some relaxation to somebody not that same rules and regulation available if there is some breakage in the system in idealism then it was the system that time that jibu gosai path or before that rupu gosai path they used to call all the jiboti to take final decision about his activities so at present who is going to care what who is going to care what nothing they they think it is a one kind of playing game <laughs> actually vishnu vishnu mane whole vishwa vai vishwa vishnu brahma mane or vishwa vishnu brahma should have controlling over whole vaishnavas all around the world especially that time uh, you know it was only in india uh, but after that now it is spreading so vishwa vishnu brahma is not a matter of joking and uh, they should have their responsibility to control uh, situation everything so that nobody can follow any nobody can nobody can go fancifully no no actually bhakti vinod thakur also 150 160 years back you can go through the writings of bhakti vinod thakur he is expressing anxiety and tension for the future you know priyo those are coming so they can run their life fancifully they are going to identify them as a, as in the line of stream of mahaprabhu the bhakti vinod thakur speaking in bengali mahaprabhu mahaprabhu bimal kish bimal prem dharmo mahaprabhu the purest the topmost pure of this prem adharma shown by mahap mahaprabhu now day by day getting contaminated so bhakti vinod thakur request in all those who are responsible they must be very careful don't allow this situation to come in your life so that everybody can do and what they like they can do according to their attitude what they like fancifully they can lead their life not that so this way vishva vishnu brahma is only possible to install by you know by you know jiva go same path vishva vishnu brahma is possible for 
Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur. It is not one kind of acting. Really so. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur is the fittest personality in the whole world to organize, to reopen this Vishwa Vaishnava Rasabha, to confer, to give different kind of titles according to the Seva mood, to give them inspiration, Vishwa Vaishnava Rasabha. Also, Dham Pacharini Sabha means to express the glory of this Dham. Nodia, Nodia Prakash, Nodia Prakash, and uh, actually through Nodia Prakash, through Gauriya, through Sajanta Sani, all it is called all Nodia Prakash. I mean the glories of Nodia. Nodia mean and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Nodia, uh, Nodia <laughs> the topmost you know uh, thing. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is there. So Dham Pacharini Sava mean. They should glorify the. They should glorify the name of Dham, Navadip Dham, Mayapur Dham, Dham Pacharini Shava. So one by one, you know, devotees they have their responsibility to to glorify the name of Dhamma and through magazines and pratikas, you know, some weekly, some fortnight pratika, some monthly pratika, or different books and magazines. And that time it was the system to, you know, to you know preach, uh, to preach the glories of Dham, so that people, common people, they can get the advantage in this this Kalikal because Kalikal there is no other way open except Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the you know topmost mercy incarnation, mercy full, and you know, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself mercy full. Mercy, ocean of mercy, and mercy incarnation. We are getting all Guru Varga, Guru Varga Chaitanya Kripa, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu itself the source of Kripa, you know, full Kripa. So this way, uh, Dham Pracharani Sabha, Vishwa Vishnu Rasava was restarted that time, and not only that, but also their activities. And really, if you go through their activities, you can go mad. How it was possible that time? There was no phone system actually. No mobile, no you know, and nothing, but you know, no computer, nothing, but so fast. Every day, Nodiya, Doinik Nodiya Prakas. Every day, they are going to collect news and going to they are going to publish news. So, what was the system that time? Those they started doing this seva, and our Guru Bargo like Giri Maharaj and all some other devotees, they. They got this responsibility to distribute the Nodiya Prakas in train, in light cameras, in different trains, local trains. Uh, they used to travel and sell this Nodiya Prakas. They used to like newspaper. At that time, it was possible for them. That kind of dedication was there with them. At present, nobody can do. <laughs> who can do? So some those who are fully dedicated, they can do, but. But other, they are you know less interested to do that. So actually, you see, the Doiva Varna some implementation installment, uh, Doiva Varna some after restarting of, you know, Vishwa Vishnu Prasava, Dham Pacharini Shava. At that time, and the, at the day of Gaur Purnim, it was the system that time, thousands of devotees they used to they are invited, they used they invited they used to come there. And attain the function, some special issues of Hari Bhajan method process. If there is any mistake, you know, they all different kind of discussion from different angles whole day in Jogopit and different places is to be held. And after that, actually, Dham actually Parikram. Dham Parikram actually Dham Parikrama is the topmost by Bhakti Murtagu speaking. The common people they cannot understand Hari Bhajan. They cannot start Hari Bhajan, and we cannot we cannot run here and there all the time, and because it, it takes long time to approach every door to speak. But anyway, our Guru Bhargava they used to do it. But Bhakti Vinod Thakur Bhakti Vinod Thakur giving order that you will have to arrange Dham Parikrama. Through Dham Parikrama, they can get the facility advantage to come in Dham, and they can 
and do Damparikram, automatically, knowingly or unknowingly, they are going to get great kripa of Dhamma. Because Dhamma is, Dhamma is more powerful, more, more merciful than Prabhu himself. So, Dhamma, they can come and do Parikram there. So, they used to stay uh, for four five days and do Parikram under the guidance of Guru Vishnu. Uh, they used to do. So, under the guidance of Nityananda Prabhu, who guided Jiva Goswami path, and Ishan Thakur guided, Ishan Thakur guided North Thakur to do Dham Parikram. So, under their guidance, Prabhupada again started Dham Parikram procedure. Through Dham Parikrama, every year at the time of Gorfunim, for five days, people from different corners they used to come and attend this Parikram, and they uh, used to do Parikram under the guidance of uh, Guru Vaishnav doing Sankirtan. They and Prasadam Mahaprasadam they used to take Prasadam, take rest in Dham. This way, different. You know, from different parts of this India, they used to come and attend. And by this Dham Parikram, knowingly or unknowingly, automatically they are going to get some extra Shukriti, Kripa. So, uh, so by hearing Harikatha from Paupat, from Guru Varga, and hearing Kirtan, they are also doing Kirtan. This way, they are taking Prasadam. So, five, six Five, six days they used to stay with Guru Vaishnav doing Parikram, this, that. So, Havok Kipa. And after Parikram is over, when those devotees, they usually coming to take permission from Prabhupada, Oh, Prabhupada, give us permission. Uh, we are going back to our home, our place. Then Prabhupada used to sit silently and shedding tears silently. Prabhupada, couldn't speak anything to them. Prabhupada only hearing them. They are coming one by one, taking permission, and Prabhupada crying, cannot reply. Why Prabhupada crying? Because Prabhupada thinking that at least for five days they are out of the fire of family, you know, you know. Then they are doing parikram here, taking Mahaprasadam here. Now they are again going to jump into fire. Sangsaro dava nolani loko, you know? Sangsaro dava nol, forest fire. They are going to again jump into fire. Who can tolerate? Especially Prabhupada is the topmost, you know, Acharya, full of mercy, endless mercy. So Prabhupada used to cry and cry, used to shed tears, couldn't speak anything in front of them. They are shedding tears. They are also crying. So you can remember the case of Mahaprabhu. When Mahaprabhu in Gambira Mandir sitting, all devotees after staying for four, ma for four months, Chatur Mas is over after Kartik, one by one they are coming to take permission from Goranga Mahaprabhu to go back to their place. Mahaprabhu used to cry heavily, heavily, heavily. They used to cry because they are going back to their home uh, so long. <laughs> This is the system. So this way, the unique acharyaship of Srila Prabhupada is out of our imagination. Even we cannot imagine how powerful Srila Prabhupada was, how it was possible for Prabhupada to implement all the orders given by Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, how it was possible for Bhaktivinoda Thakur, how it was possible for Prabhupada to, in, to implement all these orders in it. This way, Prabhupada, Bhaktivinu Thakur, Bhaktivinu Thakur wanted to speak that, that actually as a Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Mimala Pasha Saraswati as a topmost Acharya way. So, Bipuli Krita Vaibha Bhagavura Bhuvam Bhuvane Shubhi Kirtita Gaura Dayam Dayaniya Ganarpita Gaura Padam Panamami Shada Prabhu Padu Padam Panamami Shada Prabhu Padu Padam Panamami Shada Prabhu Padu Padam Vanchakal Padur Vasiki Pasind Bevacha Patitanang Pavana Bhavishna Bhu Namo. Excuse me for the disturbing cost in between.
what to do.